okay, ripple counter. So, counter used to measure the frequency or signal. So, basically used in digital clock. They will display the time of day in hours, minutes and seconds. Uh, digital counter have uh, several characteristics. Okay, so we have four characteristics. Okay, first characteristic is modulus of counter. So modulus of counter is actually referring to the maximum number of count. So how many numbers that we need to count for that counter? For example, if the counter is mode four or modulus four, meaning that the counter can count start from zero until four. So they have four numbers. If the counter uh, have the uh, modulo of modulo of eight, meaning that the counter have the maximum numbers of eight numbers, and that means by modulus of counter, up to down or up and down counter, uh, how the counter will count the number? Okay, uh, up uh, go to the up number, is starting from the smallest number to the largest number or from the largest number to the smallest number so that means by up and down counter okay third uh, characteristic ripple or asynchronous uh, or synchronous counter the category or the types of counter we have two types asynchronous or ripple second type is synchronous counter so ripple counter or asynchronous counter is actually referring to counter that uh, count the sequence of consecutive number Okay, the, the number is follow the sequence of consecutive. Okay, meaning that uh, if the mode of ripple counter is mode 4, so the counter we count start from 0, 1, 2 and 3. So must follow the consecutive number. Synchronous, okay, for second category which is synchronous counter, is actually referring to counter that... Uh, count the sequence of non-consecutive number yeah so for example if the counter have mode 4 so it may uh, start counting start from 3 then next is 1 and then next is uh, 2 and then the last number is 0 so the process of counting not follow the consecutive of the number that is difference between ripple and synchronous and the last characteristic is uh, the type of uh, counter. Okay, how the counter will uh, count? Okay, either using the free running counter or self stopping. So free running is actually referring to counter that continuously count until we stop the circuit or the counter. For example, if the counter is mode four, so uh, the count the counter will count start from zero, one, two, three, and then go back from 0 and then continue to count to the next number which is 1, 2 and 3 and then start again from 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 until we stop the counter. Self-stopping is actually referring to counter that uh, automatically stop until it reach a certain number. Okay, for example, when we design the counter, we want the number, the counter will stop at a number 3. Okay, for mode 4. Okay, because mode 4, the largest number is 3, right? So, 0, 1, 2, 3, and then it will stop automatically. Okay, without we uh, stop uh, the counter. Okay, it will stop automatically. That is different between free running or self-stopping counter. So, we have four characteristics. Okay, I want you to remember the characteristic. So, we look at the first category of the counter, which is ripple counter or asynchronous counter. So we have a different uh, type of uh, ripple counter or examples of ripple counter. So if you're referring it, uh, in your notes or book, so we have four uh, examples. Okay, we have modulo 4 or mode 4 ripple counter. So this ripple counter will count start from 0, 0 to 1, 1, which is start from decimal 0 until 3. So it, it will follow the sequence of the consecutive number. Mod modulo of 8 or mode 8 ripple counter uh, count from 0 until 7 and the last example is mode 10 uh, ripple counter count from uh, 0 until 9 so this is the example of a uh, ripple counter so all ripple counters will count uh, following the sequence of the consecutive number 
So we look at the first uh, ripper counter which is mode 4 ripper counter. So mode 4 ripper counter will count start from 0 to 9. So this is diagram. Okay, uh, order circuit okay, of the mode 4 ripper counter and then below is actually the waveform. Okay, so mode 4 ripper counter, um, uh, if you refer to this uh, circuit, okay, so this circuit, okay, so of course we need to use a JK flip flop. So each flip flop uh, is in uh, its toggle mode. Okay, so each flip flop output derives the clock input to the next uh, flip flop. Okay, this one, eh? to the next flip flop so the clock pass is applied to the clock of uh, flip flop a okay so the output of flip flop a will be connected to the clock of flip flop b so this one this output of flip flop a will connect to the clock of flip flop b okay so meaning that the flip flop a will toggle okay uh, means that it changed to the opposite state each time the clock pass make the transition of zero sorry uh, make transition from 1 to 0 because this is a negative clock okay, because uh, the flip-flop is using the negative clock uh, JK flip-flop okay. so the output of uh, flip-flop A will act as the clock okay, for the flip-flop B okay, so that the output of B will toggle okay, each time A goes from 1 to 0 transition okay. So you can look, we can look the process of transition by this uh, waveform. Okay, so this is the clock. Okay, the original clock. And then, uh, so this is the waveform for B and then this is the waveform for A. Yeah. So, um, it's a, uh, the process of uh, waveform okay, from A for A and B is actually uh, referring to the value of the binary, right? Uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 because the line will represent one value either 0 or 1 okay because we start uh, counting the counter start from 0, 0 so that's why if you refer to the first wave is 0, 0 so this is 0, this is 0 okay and then for the clock number 1 here is 0, 1 so that's why here okay, A is 0 and then 1 uh, for B okay so we'll change Okay, will change from 0 to 1, it will toggle the value. Yeah, and then uh, it will continue until the last clock. Okay, example, until clock number 9. Yeah, so that's why based on this uh, waveform, so it will continuously count, start from 0, okay, 0, 0, until 1, 1, and it will repeat again 0, 0, until 1, 1, and continuously uh, count. Okay, so this is for mode uh, for ripple counter. And then for mode 8 ripper counter, also actually quite similar with the mode 4 ripper counter. Okay. So, each output for each flip-flop, this is flip-flop A, B and C will become the input to the next clock. So, to make sure that the value will be toggled okay, to make the calculation or the counting sequence. Okay. And then uh, this is the... Uh, waveform that I draw because in your book is actually empty uh, space right uh, you need to draw the the waveform okay so here I show you how I draw the waveform so you have three variable a b and c okay so c uh, will toggle for each uh, clock okay so every time for each clock it will toggle okay or will change the values from 0 1 0 1 0 1 Okay, and then for B, every time the uh, after the second uh, clock, so it will toggle okay, to this, uh, another two clock, and then again will toggle. Yeah? And then for A, uh, after four times of clock, so it will toggle the value. Okay? So when we uh, draw this kind of uh, waveform, so it will uh, represent the process of counting follow the sequence yeah? so start from 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 and until the last value is 1 1 1 okay for the counting and then we'll continuously uh, count okay so this is for mode 8 ripple counter and for the last example is for mode 10 ripple counter so count from 0 until 9 because the largest number here is 9, 
So uh, we need to determine okay, what kind of uh, a gate that uh, can use to reset the value. Why we need to reset the value? Because when we derive the truth table, okay, we need to have four variable, right? Because the largest number is nine. Yeah, so that's why we need to have a uh, four variable. Okay, so it will complete to have uh, the value at start from zero until nine, and we also include the other numbers, which is ten until fifteen. Okay, and then because our mode is only mode ten, so it will count start from zero until nine. So when it reach, okay, when it reach at uh, number ten here, uh, so we need to reset the counter. Okay, what I mean by resetting the counter? So, the process of counting will stop okay, at number 9. So, uh, how to reset the, the process? Okay, uh, we need to put value 0 okay, or output 0 to the input of 1010. Okay, so, for previous input, all this one okay, because the number is uh, exist. Okay, because it is count start from 0 until 9 and then the other numbers okay, after 10 here so here is a don't care value because it doesn't exist in our uh, ripple counter okay and then based on this truth table okay we simplify the uh, truth table to find out the equation okay, uh, to determine the type of uh, gate right uh, so when we uh, simplify so we'll get this equation which is a bar plus c bar okay so it's this a bar plus c bar also equal to a and c bar which is the de Morgan theorem right uh, so it's actually the opposite of the process of de Morgan so de Morgan we need to break the bar and then we get the next value okay here is actually the, the opposite process okay, because we only need one gate yeah so here you know we know that uh, we need to use gate NAND uh, that will be connected between input A and input C. So this is the uh, gate NAND. Okay, so input will be connected to A and C. So this gate NAND uh, will reset. Okay, will reset the uh, the the counter. We okay, to make sure that the counter only can count start from zero until nine. Okay, so this is uh, for mode 10 ripple counter. So we have three examples. Not only these three examples, really, we have we can have many type of uh, mode. Okay, yeah? so the mode of uh, counter is not uh, don't have a sp specific number. Okay, so we can create any kind of uh, mode number. Okay, yeah? not necessarily only have mode 10 mode 8, mode 3, you know, maybe you can create a counter for mode uh, 16 or mode 12, so it depends, it depends on the questions. So that is for the first part, for a uh, counter which is a ripple counter.